Hey guys, so it's kind of really late, so I'm gonna be talking a little lower. I don't know if my voice was strained. I'm not exactly qualified to teach people how to upload because I only learned like last night, but I kind of know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna give a step by step on how I'm doing it. So, first, you're gonna have Blender open and just make sure. For me, I already have everything positioned on the mannequin, so you also want to check normal. So, what you can do is go to face orientation or you can go into solid mode and turn on black face culling and this is what it will look like on roblox because sometimes normals are messed up so just make sure this is how you want the model to look like make sure that these are under the requirements so for geometry requirements this whole model has to be under 4000 triangles for size limit you can check on studios under UGC makers kit they do have toggle bounds so you can see if something is within the limits or not 1024 by 1024 is the biggest your textures can be and yeah so to export you go to export wavefront obj make sure you click selection only if that's what you want we have studios open i'm gonna open a classic base plate it doesn't really matter i just like classic base plate better i know other creators might have made a tutorial on this already but this is just how i do it so what you're gonna want to do first under avatar go to rig builder Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you do R15 or R6. I'm just going to go with R6 and the block avatar. So we have the block avatar. I'm going to go to import 3D. And then we're going to go to where we saved the hair. Or if it's not a hair, I'm going to open. This isn't how you do the thumbnail, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like here. So just import it as it imports. Um, if you had it positioned already, you can just copy the position on the mannequin and then paste it onto here and it should sit properly on the body. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select both. If it's facing away from the sun, I prefer it facing to the sun so the lighting, you can actually see what's going on, but it doesn't really matter. So you don't have to apply texture now, but if you want to, if you upload it as decals already, then you can just copy asset ID. So let's do a Neapolitan. I'm gonna go to texture ID and just paste it. And now it's textured. So to convert to accessory, I use Fast Asset Creator, which I will link in the description. There's also this one, but this one works too. They're kind of the same. And you're gonna click Fast Asset Creator. You're gonna click Accessory. Next. You're going to go to the side and click the mesh. Make sure you select the mesh and not the group it's under. Next, and then select the mannequin that you're attaching it to, which is called rig. Um, and since this is a hair, you're going to select which category these are for. So I'm going to go hair, classic, and then now it's 10 studs above. So now that we have it as an accessory, I'm just going to rename it in case you're uploading other things. Upload. We're gonna go to UGC thumbnail tool, which I think this one's the free one. I'm gonna link multiple in the description, but with normal perspective, you can just do it like this. If you don't want it like anything fancy, you can just accept, and then that should be what it looks like. But if you wanna make it fancy, there are two ways. So I'm gonna show it with the free first. This one's a little riskier because it doesn't always come out correctly, but we're gonna open up the thumbnail we're gonna go to camera under workspace and change the field of view to 20. I'm gonna go back using WASD and tilt. If your hair isn't symmetrical, it might be hard to keep off center. And if it's tilted, it might also be hard, but I'm just gonna do front face view. This one should be centered. I'm not sure. I genuinely forgot. So we're just gonna accept. I'm going to save this version first and just see if there's a difference. I'm going to save to roblox method one and make sure you put in the description where it won't work go to avatar item and make sure you select it under the right category now uploading does cost 750 robux so make sure you have that it is a bit pricey but there's also advanced fees for each item so i'll put the list on screen but i'll also put it in the description if that's helpful but you can probably see it when you go to put it on sale i'm going to submit and then we're going to try the other method now. So with the other upload method, 
This is UGC Maker's Kit. So I brought UGC Maker's Kit for 1500 Robux, but I think it's USD now. So for this one, you can set the offset completely to zero for these. Offset of X to zero, offset of Y to zero, if it's just front facing. Yaw to 180. So it's facing completely forward. Now for lighting, they do have this here, but usually if you're already facing 90 degrees towards the sun, it should be fine. So it's control, don't accidentally click shift like I did. And you can just move the lighting. It basically rotates your model to face the sun. So this should be fine. Okay, so now we're gonna set the zoom to negative 20. So it's really zoomed out to get the FOV. If you don't want the FOV, you can just keep it like that, angle it, whatever. Um, I'll give an example of what you can just have. So now we're gonna click finish. Okay, so we're going to upload that too and just name it method 2. If you're wondering like, oh my god, Jolan, why are you wasting so much Robux uploading this? I already wasted so much on past trials trying to figure this out. So this is like my something's attempt. I uploaded it to my account, by the way, just make sure you're uploading it to the right group if you're uploading it to a group because it's manually set to your account. I'm actually so genius and all of these were messed up, but we're gonna go to my account and we're just gonna wait here. This one already went through, so this one was the first method. Obviously, it's like clipping on the top. It doesn't work that great. And then we're just gonna wait for the other one. Okay, so it updated. This is what method two looks like. It fills in the box better and I think it's more centered, but the lighting is a bit off, but that's not really that big of a problem. It's okay. <laughs> Obviously, the lighting for this one was a lot better, but it's okay. So now that you got one version uploaded, you might be wondering how can I upload recolors? Because I know for hair, there is a lot of recolors required, or for me at least. So to change the texture, we're going to go to the accessory, go under handle, and special mesh. What we're going to do is just select another color. Let's do calico. So we're just going to put in the texture ID and it will change hair texture and then you can just upload it again putting the color as the name so you know which colors you already saved and which ones you didn't but also make sure you put it under the right creator so i'm putting it under my group just make sure you don't upload it to your profile or upload it to someone else's group in case you have the permissions just double check it okay so as you see it went through and yeah so you would just keep uploading the recolors until it's done sometimes the zoom is off if you look at the, my past ones, I have a lot of attempts. So it does like take a while. Sometimes it's more zoomed out, more zoomed in. The shadow is weird. Depends on how you did the lighting. The lighting was kind of my fault. Make sure before you upload a bunch of colors, you check if it sits correctly or if it's balding because I made that mistake so many times and I still don't learn my lessons. So let's do that right now. Default. Come on. So just make sure there's no like balding spots around before you re-upload a bunch of colors like I did. 